Thank you for tuning into another newly listed on the CSE clip. Uh, this is the month of June, and I am talking to Jeffrey Ma. Jeffrey is the CEO of Como Plant-Based Foods, Inc. Obviously, it's just listed on the CSE. Jeffrey, thank you so much for your time. How are you? Hi, Neil. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. Perfect. Let's jump right into it, Jeffrey. Uh, I'm curious, what, what is the vision behind this company? Yeah, let me give a brief intro. Uh, so Como Comfort Foods, we're a new plant-based food startup based in Vancouver, BC, Canada. Uh, we recently started, uh, launched the brand three months ago uh, in Vancouver locally. Um, our mission really is to share the love of plant-based foods, um, to really provide an answer to the everyday question of what's for dinner with easy, wholesome, and hearty plant-based meals. So plant-based meals is our focus uh, with Como and especially around comfort foods. You know, we really believe that, you know, plant-based eating is the future of eating. Um, and, you know, it's better for the people, better for planet, better for animals. And overall, you know, consumers are looking for more of these options. So we launched a few months ago with our lasagna or shepherd's pie or chicken pot pie. You know, these comfort foods, 100% plant-based, wholesome, uh, ready to bake and made from scratch. Um, so currently direct to consumer uh, locally in the lower mainland uh, in the Vancouver region, but we're also in a few stores um, as well. Got it. Now, what was the what was the strategy behind taking the company public? Yeah, you know, we really believe that our mission resonates with people. You know, we know consumers as well as investors are looking for brands that they can support that aligns with their values. You know, for Como, what it means for us is that, you know, what's on our plates has really significant impacts to the environment, to, you know, to people, to animals. And it's it's not just about the food we're eating, but it also has like I said, just greater, greater impact. And, you know, through plant-based eating, you can, we can actually solve a lot of these issues or at least alleviate them. Um, so this mission that we have of sharing plant-based foods, uh, sharing the love of plant-based foods, we feel that that resonates with consumers and investors, but we also have, you know, pretty extensive expansion plans. You know, we want to grow right now. We're, we're pretty local, uh, but we do have plans to grow across the country and potentially to the U S and to really access capital. Uh, we decided to go cap go public um, to fund this growth that we're planning for. Got it. Jeffrey, talk to us a little bit about your background. How did you get into this space? Yeah, so um, my training, I'm, I'm a food scientist by training. So I've been working in the plant-based industry for the last almost 10 years, you know, working on products ranging from, you know, plant-based cheese, plant-based yogurt, uh, pizza to uh, snack bars, protein powders, you know, I work for companies like Daya Foods, obviously they're a pioneer in the plant-based food industry, as well as Vega, they're a leader in the protein, plant-based protein industry, um, category. So I have a chance to really specialize in plant-based product innovation and see the space grow. Um, obviously the space has really changed quite a bit uh, and it matured quite a bit. So there's a lot of uh, businesses and brands currently in the space. Um, so, you know, my specialization is bringing uh, products from ideation to commercialization to launch. Um, so that's one of the key uh, pillars of Como Foods is product innovation. So other people on my team, you know, we've, we've we're built a, we're, you know, we're a small team, but we've built a really great team so far is uh, Adia Joko, who has joined our team recently. So she recently joined from Daya Foods. Uh, she leads our operations and quality assurance. At Daya, she led um, QA, she led uh, she was also the director of supply chain there. So her specialization is really understanding um, food startups, you know, how we grow, how we be agile at the same time, build infrastructure so we can scale quickly, um, but also properly. And, you know, a third member of our team is Chef Fred. Chef, we like to call him Chef Fred. He's an executive chef with over 25 years of global experience. He is a plant-based chef. So he's vegan. Uh, for the past five years and he really understands health and nutrition and you know how to create wholesome plant-based foods um yeah so we have a great little team here going and we're ready to you know build out como you guys have a good game plan for the company a, a positive outlook strong team and background obviously what would you say differentiates a company like como plant-based foods from some of your peers in this space Good question. For us, you know, I mean, I've been in the space for the past 
10 years. And I've seen obviously a lot of brands coming, small brands, a lot of the big CPG companies are coming into plant-based because everybody sees opportunity, right? There, there's no, there's no question about that. Um, but we, you know, where we see a lot of brands focusing is on those huge categories of like, you know, plant, plant-based cheeses, plant-based milks, plant-based meats, which is great. You know, it's great to have all these options for us, you know, as a, as a smaller company, as a disruptor, we're focusing on a, a bit of a, I guess, smaller, smaller category with prepared meals. Uh, we've launched with our frozen meals, uh, specifically targeting the meal occasion. So again, helping people answer that everyday question of what's for dinner with something that's easy, wholesome, and hearty. Um, as well, you know, in that category of this frozen, frozen entrees or frozen prepared meals, there are other, uh, other brands as well. Uh, but, you know, most of them are kind of, you know, in for the individual servings for microwavable options. For us, we're focusing on that family size or multi-serving size sharing op options. What we hear from consumers is like, you know, if you want to serve your family, if they want to serve their family a plant-based meal right now, what are the options? You either cook, you take out, or you get frozen vegan pizza. Really, there's not a lot of options out there that you can easily serve your family or serve a group of people a plant-based plant -based option, plant-based meal that you can feel proud about serving. Yeah. Um, so that's one of the, that's one of the, you know, pain points we're really trying to solve with, with our brand. But also on top of that, you know, we're focused on like just real good food, you know, food eating should be simple, you know, eating should, shouldn't be super complicated. So we use wholesome ingredients. We try to keep the ingredients very recognizable. Um, we don't, you know, you know, we use uh, regular cooking techniques to keep the food, just food, food should be food. Uh, and lastly, comfort foods, you know, we really target comfort foods like our lasagna, our shepherd, shepherd's pie, chicken pot pie, these familiar flavors, familiar foods that people just know and love. Um, and really the goal is, you know, our foods can be enjoyed by vegans, by meat eaters, by flexitarians, and you won't really miss anything. You know, if a lasagna is gooey, gooey, if it's warm, if it's, if it's, you know, delicious, like you're not going to miss the meat or miss the cheese. And, you know, it's a bonus that it's plant-based really. Well said. Um, are there any milestones our viewers and audience can look out for from your company and team? For sure. Yeah. So, I mean, we are a startup, we are a small company, but we are really focused, as I mentioned, on product innovation. So we have a few new launches coming up. Again, focus on that meal option, making bringing dinner to the table easier. Uh, right now, we're also, as a company, we're also locally focused. You know, we and that was the goal, you know, let's get the product out there. Let's find the right product. Um, make sure that our products, our branding, our messaging really resonates with consumers locally in our area. So that's why we're delivering directly to consumers. We're doing a lot of farmer, farmers markets to really talk to our consumers and know them. And the next stage really we're which we're ready for is that we feel like we have a validated product. Um, we're going to iterate on it. We're going to take it to the next stage and scale across to different provinces across Canada and potentially to the U.S. Um, in the near future. And we know consumers are asking for it. You know, they see our branding on our website. Uh, they message us from Toronto, from further east. It's like, where can we get our product? And we, we can't tell them when yet, but you know, that is the goal. But to do that, we also need to scale production. Um, we started out from a, a small pr production facility kitchen area, and we're moving to a new one. Uh, we'll potentially probably be growing out of that pretty soon as well. So that's, uh, that's a big milestone for us. But yeah, we're gonna be continuously introducing new products. Again, product innovation is core to what we do. Uh, and there's a lot of opportunity in the plant-based space and introduce it to the new market, to the, to the local market, validate that concept and take those concepts that we think are ready to go, iterate on them based on our feedback and then launch them nationally. Great game plan to have. So where can our viewers and audience go to read up more on your company, the products, your team? Yeah, so you can go to www.comocomfortfoods.com. Uh, we also have our social handle, Como Comfort Foods, and on both Instagram as well as uh, Facebook. Yeah, we, we spend a lot of time kind of building out good content, and uh, we keep it light on there, and it's pretty funny sometimes, so definitely check it out. Awesome. Well, yeah, anybody watching, I recommend you to definitely vis visit their website, take a look at their social channels. Jeffrey, I appreciate you taking the few minutes to come talk to myself and our audience about the company and what the goal is coming up. 
Um, I look forward to even trying your products in the next little while here. So again, for anybody watching, this has been Jeffrey Ma. Jeffrey is the CEO of Como Plant-Based Foods, Inc., which is just listed on the Canadian Securities Exchange. Jeffrey, thanks again for your time. Thank you, Anil. Thank you for tuning in to another newly listed on the CSE. Please feel free to hit like and share this content and hit subscribe if you haven't already.